Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. A while back, I did an episode called Platform Wars. It was basically discussing my views and thoughts about all the various platforms out there. And also, more recently, I did an episode on Microsoft versus Apple fanboys and the whole history of it. And the gist of all those episodes was the fact that I believe that technology is extremely valuable and it could actually improve our lives. And in terms of platforms, I really believe that they are just tools. You know, platforms are tools, technological tools that allow us to do things to actually make our lives better and make other people's lives better. I mean, as cheesy as that sounds, that is what I believe in. And so with that being said, I am not really that type of person who is so passionate about the platform that I will not use another tool that's better at certain things. You know, case in point with Linux. You know, I talk a lot about Linux. I love Linux. And I also love the open source community. However, I definitely see the value in Microsoft Windows. Uh, Microsoft has done a lot uh, for the world and they continue to do so. Now, the same thing goes for Apple as well. I really feel that Apple has done a lot for the world, you know, and as I've talked about in my uh, Windows and Apple fanboys, without these two technology companies, we would not be where we are today, you know. Apple was the one who really made the very first personal desktop, and at the same time, Microsoft was really the one who made operating systems a viable business, meaning if it wasn't for them, I definitely don't think the operating system world would be where it is today. And then finally, if it wasn't for Linus Torvalds and Richard Stallman, Linux would not exist today in the way that it is today, and we would not be having this discussion right now. And so all of these things, all of these platforms, uh, they do serve a really valuable purpose. And so fanboyism aside, that's the way that I feel. You know, technology is a very, very valuable tool. So with that being said, you know, some really important piece of news came out today. And if you actually do search, you realize that it's all over the place that Microsoft has done the uh, pretty much uh, unthinkable. You know, for some people, it's a, a hell freezes over type of moment. But uh, basically, what happened was, is that, as you probably just really saw, Microsoft has officially done something that some people never thought they would. And what they did was join the Linux Foundation. They are now a gold member of the Linux Foundation. And if you didn't know what the Linux Foundation is, it is the primary uh, community, company, so forth. They are the face of Linux. You know, Linus Torvalds actually works for the Linux Foundation as well. And so Microsoft has joined all these other companies uh, that are official partners to the Linux Foundation. And a lot of these names, as you see, they are very, very familiar to you. You've probably heard of some of these companies. And the list uh, will continually grow as uh, Linux as a platform becomes even more prevalent um, outside of uh, the personal desktop, of course. However, uh, that's probably going to get even bigger in the future uh, with this recent announcement. And as you can see, there are a lot of names here. And, you know, if you're familiar with the tech space, you'll know that Google is a heavy investor in Linux and also open source. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, as a matter of fact, you know, um, Amazon's web services, they all run on Ubuntu Linux. And so, you know, Linux is used in so many places. Um, outside of what we think about, okay? I mean, if you are a geek, you'll know that Linux basically runs everywhere, okay? So whether it's your web servers, uh, whether it's your supercomputers, whether it's your phones using Android, Linux is everywhere. 
And with that being said, you know, companies know that. So that's where I'm going to talk about today, like why Microsoft did this, why it is important and, you know, why it's going to not stop. OK, this is going to be the future for every company. Linux is the future for every single company and on a bigger level, open source. So why did Windows do this? You know, they did this just for the reasons that I talked a little bit earlier about all those other companies. But bottom line, it makes business sense, period. OK, so Microsoft um, and other companies, they're not stupid. OK. Um, they would not be where they are today if they were just basically ran by fanboys and fangirls. You know, they're made by people who run a business. And so they know that over the years that Linux isn't going anywhere. But at the same time, from a technology standpoint, um, it is a very, very powerful platform. I mean, Microsoft themselves, business aside, they do use Linux to run on some of their Azure services, which is their cloud services. Some of their servers use Linux, primarily Red Hat Linux. OK, so um, that's an, one thing. OK, and then another thing is in the mobile space, uh, guess which one is the dominant mobile platform? It is Android and that runs on the Linux kernel. So all of that makes business sense and the open source community keeps growing more and more stronger every single day and uh, Microsoft and many other companies uh, cannot ignore that and if they did it wouldn't make sense for them long term wise uh, for their technologies and their businesses so it makes a lot of sense that right now they would join Linux officially okay so if you didn't know like a little bit earlier I think it was about last year that Linux a uh, bash or uh, canonical Ubuntu officially runs within Windows 10 natively. OK, so uh, Microsoft and canonical, the company behind Ubuntu uh, made Linux bash available in Windows 10 natively. And also here recently, um, they have been working on this for a while, but Microsoft SQL Server, which is their database software, will be available for Linux as well. And so it's all about you know business you know and but at the same time you know microsoft being a technology they do realize the value that linux provides and uh, you know many other companies like uh, valve <laughs> you know they uh, obviously their steam os is based on a linux kernel so more and more you know linux is uh, becoming you know more mainstream you know of whether or not people realize that's happening now not everything is going to be perfect of course um, although I love each one of these platforms in different ways I don't always agree with the business tactics that they use and everybody who knows Microsoft knows that they've been trying to bury Linux uh, business wise early on but you know that didn't work you know they went so far as to call Linux a cancer uh, about 15 years ago that's what Steve Ballmer <laughs> had said that it is a cancer but you know come around to the modern age um, they're gonna have to adopt open source and so in one case you know I do see that this is definitely definitely a step in the right direction but Windows being Windows Microsoft being Microsoft they are not gonna do it in a way that's gonna jeopardize their proprietary business they are still a proprietary uh, company their software is primarily all proprietary, and that is not going to change. However, as they are adopting more and more of the open source community and open source software, it'll make the open source people, the fanboys, um, a little bit happier and more willing to accept Microsoft in that ecosystem. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's really smart on their part. You know, and even Google has just now joined the dot net community so that's kind of funny so um, that's it for this episode I really just wanted to talk about Windows joining the Linux Foundation and uh, what it really means overall at least from my perspective and overall I think it'd be great for not only Linux but just the open source community in general as more and more companies become a part of this community in terms of business 
and exposure, that just means there's going to be more money pumped into the open source community. And which means that we, as users, as a community, we're going to get a lot more cool stuff. You know, even if it's from uh, platforms that we don't really agree with. So that's it. <laughs> uh, this kind of something that I really did not think was going to happen this soon, as a matter of fact. Uh, but it is happening. Uh, and uh, it's going to continue to grow even more. So if you had any thoughts and ideas on this Microsoft joining the Linux Foundation, or just more companies joining the open source community in general, be sure to leave them in the uh, comments area below. And if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget, I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.